Holy Cross at Prayer for March 10th, 2021. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 1. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the discerning, discernment of the discerning I will thwart. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God the world did not know God through wisdom, it pleased God through the folly of what we preach to save those who believe. For Jews demand signs and Greeks seek wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and folly to Gentiles. But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. God loves to use the hidden, the backwards, and the unexpected to do his great and mighty works. What looks amazing to us may count as nothing to God, and what looks as nothing to us may be everything to him. Word, water, bread, wine, these are his tools which he uses to bring us his mercy and life everlasting. Let us pray. Be with Paul this day, O Lord, and show him your great love throughout all the days of his life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, whose glory it is always to have mercy, be gracious to all who have gone astray from your ways and bring them again with penitent hearts and steadfast faith to embrace and hold fast the unchangeable truth of your word. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.